Hi, welcome along to another video. Links to the articles and the other information shown are in the information section of this video. This week is a bit of an Australia special in the Rangi Tikai Environmental Health Watch website. Happened across an article. In 1967, the Australian government approved weather modification and the records on that are missing. And that's a report via an Australian lawyer. So Australian lawyer Peter Little calls out the government on their approval of weather modification technology, rainmaking by cloud seeding, and the disappearance of the records pertaining to the Act, the Rainmaking Control Act 1967. There's a link to the video where he speaks about this. Looks like a brilliant guy worth watching, I can tell you. If you haven't seen anything on this, take a look. So the Rainmaking Act 1967. It's free to download. It's the authorised version. There are previous versions available. If we look at a couple of things from the table of provisions, the authority to carry out rainmaking operations it says that the cloud seeding in Victoria to induce rainfall in another state. Cloud seeding in Victoria to induce rainfall in another state. Offence to carry out unauthorised rainmaking op operations. And then there's the reports on rainmaking operations. And this is clearly what the lawyer is referring to, is that there should be reports on these operations. So in the Act, reports section 13.1, reports on rainmaking operations, the person or body authorised to make arrangements for carrying out rainmaking operations under this Act shall furnish a report in writing concerning those operations to the Minister in accordance with the provisions of subsection 2 or upon request in writing made by the Minister. So that means whoever's doing it needs to inform the Minister and if the Minister isn't being informed the Minister has the right to request that information. But those reports should exist. So if we go to the Acts Administrator's Report and this is as per the 25th of March 2020, we find on, under the Minister for Agriculture 1967, Rainmaking Control Act 1967, and there are no notes etc. there as per six months ago. So theoretically, Parliament of Victoria says their Minister for Agriculture is the Honourable Jacqueline Symes. There's the email. I'm sure that lawyer who's asking for the same thing, could do with the support. In the Canberra Times, in the letters to the editor, Barry Avery, in the letters, November the 3rd, asks why CSIRO closed down its apparently successful cloud seeding programme. Several decades ago, I put the same question to a friend who had been deeply involved in the programme for several years. He told me that if rain followed cloud seeding, they could never be certain if it would have rained anyway. And that's from Bill Dean in Chapman. The CSIRO is the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organisation. On their achievements page, cloud seeding, the rainmakers carried out experiments over South Australia, Tasmania, the Snowy Mountains, the Warragamba Dam catchment area west of Sydney and New England. They used dry ice and silver iodide to seed the clouds, which resulted in the production of rain. The first year's results were tremendously heartening, with rainfall increases of up to 30% in the target areas. But frustration followed. Rainfall appeared to deteriorate and was more variable in the target areas than before the experiment started. So this information is based on what was going on about 40 years ago, and there they admit that it worked but then after they've done it for a while and it, it's worked up to 30% more things changed things didn't happen as they wanted rainfall appeared to deteriorate and was more variable in the target areas than before the experiment started so in other words the weather was more unpredictable after the weather modification had started to change in what was expected to happen than before the experiment started when the weather was in its what could be classed as natural state. So there's clear admittance that it's going wrong. And you can look into that, that's 40, 50 years ago. 
With the continuing success of cloud seeding work by the Australian states of Tasmania and Victoria, and the recognition of the role of persistence, there appears now to be a promising future for the rainmaking techniques that Bowen did so much to pioneer. So, snowy hydro. Cloud seeding enhances snowfall over the snowy mountains during the cold months, increasing the amount of water available to produce clean, renewable energy. Hmm. A slight oxymoron, if you consider that silver iodide is flared out into the atmosphere, into the sky, to change the weather that otherwise would be in a different state, and that equals clean renewable energy. Okay. So Snowy Hydro's cloud seeding reports and papers, 2013 up to 2019. In 2019, you can see the target area map, the area approved for cloud seeding and the area which is primarily targeted for increased precipitation from cloud seeding operations. So as usual, if you've had any extreme droughts in those areas around that target catchment area, that is because the cloud seeding has attracted the moisture out of your area. This will increase dry conditions and possibly lead to forest fires. Not sure if you've had any of them recently over the last few years, 2013 to 2019, I guess that's for you to work out from the information provided, isn't it? As reported before, Tasmania stopped their cloud seeding. Their hydropower company that was carrying out cloud seeding caused a flood. And as always, rest in peace Mary Alford. She died in the floods. But, as stated, they suspended their operations for the remainder of the 2016 season. Haven't seen anything to say that they've started again since. That's called learning by your mistakes. And that's a hard mistake to learn by when you kill someone through what you do. Which is food for thought for a lot of the organisations and people mentioned in these videos. Sooner or later, people die. And on that wonderful, light-hearted, happy note, we'll leave that there for this week. Take care if you're in Australia. There's a lot going down in Australia. If you're not paying attention to it, pay attention. Look after yourselves. See you next time.